Hey, it's January 12, 2011, and I just wanted to make another video. It's been two months, something like that, since I made my last video. I'm not sure what all was in that last video. Uh, one thing, because I don't like watching my videos, a lot of times I don't go back and review them and so I'm not always a hundred percent sure what I did and did not cover so if I repeat some things from the last video you'll have to forgive me for that let's see I know that I talked before about coming out to my mom that continues to go well um, She's getting a greater understanding of this. I actually think that this weekend I may go and see her and talk to her more in depth about it. But she has given me no resistance, um, no criticism, nothing, which has amazed me. I would never have expected her to be so willing to accept something that is so drastic so at least that's that's good I have my mom's support, I have my friend's support I don't know if I mentioned it or not but my friend is my friend like I have one um, <laughs> my roommate um, will be leaving in April um, she's moving to a different state to go live with a guy so that's going to be a life change for me coming up uh, we rent a place together right now what I'm thinking about doing is because the new job seems to be going fairly well I'm don't know if I mentioned it or not but I'm only a temporary employee there that's how they hire on their people so I'm going to meet with my manager and talk to him and say there's a situation you know I really like this company and I would like to continue to be an employee here but I need some security so you know see if we can come up with a plan on me becoming a permanent full-time employee what I really want to do is to buy a house here it's taken me a long time to finally decide that I could live in a place for any length of time. I've always just kind of gone from place to place, but I think I'm ready at this point in my life to finally make the commitment of buying a house and settling somewhere. So hopefully I can get that in the works and get that done before my roommate leaves and my lease runs out where I'm at right now um, you know I can buy a house and my payments would be not a whole lot more than what I'm paying right now to rent a house that's smaller and you know I'm sharing the rent with someone else so Hopefully that works out. Also, then I don't have to worry about privacy issues because, like, the property manager here at least once has just unlocked the door and come right in when we were here. One time when I was standing in the hallway with my toenails painted, I don't know if she saw that or not, and I quickly got into my room. Um, but yeah, even though it's illegal, apparently, you know, that's not a deterrent to them to just come right in. So, um, you know, that will be taken care of if I buy my own house. And there's a house that I've kind of fallen in love with. Um, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much, but um, I've definitely found a place that um, looks hopeful. Went to see my doctor yesterday and my levels is amazing how much my levels have changed um, you know when we 
did the first blood work back in June. Uh, my testosterone was, and I don't know what these numbers mean, but my testosterone was like 600 and something. Um, estrogen, I don't know what the number was, but it was really low. Well, I had my blood drawn, um, I don't know, beginning of December, late November, and it's taken me a while because of the holidays to get in to see the doctor, and I finally heard the result yesterday. My testosterone is down to 37, and my estrogen, because they took it, the blood right after shot, was at 2,800 or 2,900, something like that. Once again, I don't know what those numbers mean, but, you know, previously my testosterone was only at 600 and something prior to the estrogen in the spiral, so, um, that's interesting. And now he's, he's up me to, uh, one cc every two weeks. I'll be taking my first shot at that dosage on Saturday. So, it'll be interesting to see how that affects me. I've been on hormones for right about six months, just a little shy of six months at this point. Um, you know, I've noticed some facial changes, which I think you would notice as well if you went and looked at some of my earlier videos compared to now. My cheekbones have filled out a little bit. Um, I have breast tissue now. <laughs> Um, noticeable breast tissue so much that I'm wearing compression shirts um, under my other clothing when I go to work. I don't know how long that is going to be enough before I'm going to have to start wrapping them, which I'm not looking forward to. Luckily, the company I'm with has, you know, anti-discrimination policies against, um, trench, you know, you they can't discriminate against transgender people, things like that. But still, I've got a long way to go before I'm ready to transition. Um, I have a lot of problem areas that I want to attend to, which means I don't plan on trying to transition until after um, facial feminization surgery. I'm no matter, you know, I get confused, or mistaken for a woman a lot of times when I'm out dressed in my normal guy clothes, but then again, it's not all the time, and I don't know, I'm just not somebody who can handle really being in between very well, so, you know, until I'm to the point where I look like a girl, and people don't mistake me as anything but a girl based on my looks, then, you know, until I'm to that point, I'm not going to transition. Next week, I also start going for um, speech therapy, so it's something that I've really, really wanted, because I cannot stand the sound of my voice. People tell me it's not as bad as I think it is, but it's bad, and I know it. It doesn't pass, and if you watch my previous videos, when I've tried to mess with my voice and get it to where it sounds more feminine, it just doesn't work. It hasn't worked so far. So I'll start that next Tuesday is my first session. Um, so yeah, things are going well right now. Um, my main concern is the job and whether I'm going to get permanent status and if not then I probably need to start looking at other options um, because I don't know how hard it'll be for me to try to get a house if I don't have permanent status at my job and also you know if they run low on projects then feasibly I could you know run out of work so I think that's it for right now. Um, thank you for watching, and I'm going to try to update a little bit more frequently. I think I say that probably every time, um, but I'll try. So, 
I'll talk to you later. Bye.